Hey guys, how are you going? My name is Domin. In today's video, we're going to be having a look at CSS specificity. So, before I start, yes, I had to Google how to pronounce specificity uh, before making today's video, but essentially, specificity is going to be uh, determining which styles get applied to your elements. Okay, so it's going to be much easier to explain with an example, but essentially, um, it's only going to matter when you have multiple rules that affect the same element okay so let's jump into the example so right here I've got an h1 okay with an ID and a class now down here I'm trying to change the color of that h1 uh, multiple different times okay so our CSS specificity is going to take a look at my group of selectors right here so in this case I've got the h1 then the ID I've got the h1 and the class then I've got the ID in the class and then lastly I have of course just the h1 so CSS specificity is going to take a look at all these different valid groups of selectors for my h1 and it's going to decide which color gets applied. So, with that being said, let's go back inside the page right here. And um, the way it works is essentially through like a ranking system. Okay, so for example, right here, um, if you have uh, a single ID, or essentially if you have an ID um, inside your group of selectors, it's going to give you one point in the first position of this three. Uh, comma separated list of digits okay so IDs give you one point inside the first position classes pseudo classes and attributes give you one point inside the middle section and lastly elements pseudo elements are going to give you one point inside the last position so the way it works is it goes from left to right the left is most powerful and the right most is the least powerful so with that being said, uh, let's go down here now, and I've got a few examples. So right here, I've got an example of an ID and an ID. This case, because ID gives you one point inside the first position, this gives you two zero zero. Okay. If you have an element right here, followed by two IDs, it's going to give you, of course, two IDs once again, but also down here, one point inside the element's position, and then lastly, we have the elements, two IDs, and then a class. Okay, so here we get two, one, one. Now, which one is going to win? Okay, so in this case, you're going to uh, once again read from left to right, and if we were to compare 200 and 201, um, we can compare them. So we can start from the left side, 2 and 2 are the exact same. So we move on to the next position, 0 and 0 are once again the exact same. So we move on to the last position, 0 and 1. Of course, in this case, 1 is more than 0. So this right here wins and is more specific than the top one right up here. The same logic applies for this one down here. 2, 1, 1, of course, once again, 2 is the same, so, um, of course, we move to the next one. In the next one, in the element, or sorry, uh, in the class, pseudo classes and attributes position right here, um, we get one point, which, of course, beats 0 right here. In this case, this one is going to be more powerful than this one right here, therefore being more specific. So, that's how it works, okay? So, let's go back to the example right down here. In this case now, um, if you're inside VS Code, you can actually hover over your group of selectors. So right here, if I hover over this one right here, we get 101 right there inside the specificity. Okay, so in this case, this 101 is going to beat everything else inside this page. So of course, right here we get 011 and then um, 100. It's going to be beaten both of those by this one right up here. So if I save this and refresh, we can see that yes, we in fact get purple as um, as the actual color. Okay, so that's how it works. Now, I want to pause right here and move to this site. Okay, so this site right here, I'll leave a link to it in the description below, but essentially it is the specificity calculator. So it is an interactive way and a visual way to uh, figure out the specificity for your group of selectors. So as you can see, you can play around, you can add a few more things and it's going to live update and give you those numbers right there in the list from top to bottom. So uh, definitely check this site out if you want to experiment and learn specificity. Okay. Um, moving on to example number two. 
In this example, I'm making use of the hover pseudo class to, of course, change the color when I hover over this span. So, of course, the span has an ID of my span, and I'm setting the color to be red right up here. So, of course, we get red by default. Now, do you think when I hover over this span, it is going to change its color? Okay, let's find out. Let's save this and refresh, and we can see right here, we don't get a color change when hovering over um, our span. Okay, uh, the reason is because if I go back inside here, the same rules apply. As we saw earlier, um, your pseudo classes gives you one point inside here, which if we go back inside the example, um, we get 0, 1, 1. Of course, one point, of course, for the span. Up here, we get 1, 0, 0. 1 in the first position right here is going to immediately beat our 0, which is right here. Therefore, it's going to win, and we only get red, therefore, deactivating this colon hover. But we can change that. Let's make this hash my span. Of course, specifying the ID in this case, now blue is going to win. We get specificity 110. Let's save this and refresh, and we do, in fact, right here, get the hover working perfectly fine. Okay, let's move on to the next example. So example number three is a lot of nesting. Okay, so as we can see here, I have 11 classes of box all nested inside each other. Okay, so we've also got an ID of last one right here. Now, inside the CSS, we can see here, I'm targeting once again the ID, make a color of blue. Then below here, I've got 11 uh, nested class of box, okay? In this case, which one do you think is going to beat and which color is going to be chosen? In this case, if I refresh the browser, we get uh, blue right there. Now, um, the reason for that is because the ID is going to win, okay? Let's go inside the uh, specificity. We can see we get 1, 0, 0. In this one, we get... 0, 11, and 0. The exact same logic applies, okay? Of course, the class gives you one point inside the middle section, uh, giving us 11, but unfortunately, as we saw previously, 0 is smaller than 1. We go left to right, so of course, 1 is going to beat 0 in this case, of course, giving us the color of blue. Now, let's change this. Let's go inside here. Let's make the first uh, div an ID of my box, okay? Now, let's go back inside here and specify this now to be hash my box, of course, the ID. In this case, we now get the specificity of one for the ID and then 10, zero. In this case, um, of course, it's gonna compare this. It's got one and one, but of course, the second position of 10 is going to beat this one of zero, therefore it's going to win. So we should get red in the browser. Let's save this and refresh, and we do in fact get red right there. Now, what happens if you have two specificities of the exact same value? Let's find out. Let's go back inside here. Let's actually, uh, let's, let's make this dot box or class of box and then let's go inside here and we can make this one a class of container okay then let's go inside the html and give this nested one um, a class also of container so now we have of course two classes box and container um, of course here box and container these two have the exact same specificity 010 and of course 010 Let's find out what happens. Let's save this and refresh, and we can see we still get red. Okay, so the last one was chosen. That is the important thing. When you have two of the same specificity, the last one in the list is gonna be chosen. So if I was to put the blue down here, because it comes um, after the red, it's gonna be chosen. Let's save this and refresh, and we do in fact get blue right there. Okay, so that's how that works. Now. Um, a few more notes to consider and things to consider, I guess. Um, uh, down here, I've got a few more notes. So, universal selectors, so this one right here, combinators, so the child combinator and the adjacent sibling combinator, things of that nature, and also the not pseudo class don't affect specificity, okay? 
With that being said, let's go inside uh, my fourth example and take a look at this right here. I've got the UL, the ally, and the link. Okay, um, right here we have a class of link, of course. Now inside the CSS, we can see I'm targeting the link class and giving it a color of red. Okay, down here I'm using the child combinator to specify the direct children, of course, UL, ally, and A. But these things right here don't affect the specificity, which means hovering over it, we can see we still get 003. Of course, three points for the element, the element, and the element. Okay, this right here gives us one in the middle position, it's going to win. Let's save this and refresh, and we can see we get red right here. Okay, of course, like I said, this red is going to win due to higher specificity. These adjacent sibling or the uh, combinators don't matter. Okay, so to fix that, it's quite straightforward. We can just say dot link add the class to the A to now make this one more specific. 013 that's going to beat it. Blue should be displayed right here in the browser, and we can see it does right there. Okay, so uh, the very last thing to talk about is going to be the importance. Okay, so back inside my notes, we can see I've said that important overrides everything. Okay, so with that being said, let's go back inside this example right here and put this back to normal. So now, of course, red is going to win. It's got higher specificity. But if I was to say important right here, we should now see blue. This important is going to beat this one right here, regardless of specificity right here. Let's save and refresh and we can see we still get blue on the page. Now, what happens when I put two importance? What if I do important right up here? Which one gets chosen? In this case, it's going to fall back to specificity as if it wasn't even there, the important that is. All right. so now if I save this and refresh, we can see it goes back to red because of course, when, uh, when comparing these two, because they both have important, it's going to fall back to specificity, of course, 0, 1, 0. It's going to beat 0, 0, and 3. Okay? And the very last thing to discuss is going to be inline styles. Okay? So inline styles are powerful. Okay? They're going to beat uh, all of this right here, aside from important. Okay? So that being said, we can see here I've got important set on these two. Of course, giving us red. Now, what if I was to go inside um, uh, the actual style here, and I say uh, style, and I make this a color of, let's just do orange, for example. Here, this is not going to beat the important. Let's save this and refresh, and we can see it is still red. What if I was to remove the important? Let's go down here and get rid of these two, and now the orange should beat obviously the specificity. So let's save this and refresh and we can see we get orange right there and it is being applied. So inline styles are quite powerful but they don't beat important. Okay, so that right there is CSS specificity. Please leave any questions in the comment section below and I'll try my best to answer them. Uh, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you later.